Good morning, good morning. Good morning, welcome. Good morning. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to breakfast. Good morning. It is day one of our seven days of fasting. No added sugar, no fry food. Welcome. New Jersey is in the house. Good morning. Welcome. My God. Good morning, Sister Keisha. Good morning, Janetta. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's Monday morning and it's cold. It's 28 degrees. It's freezing outside. But I'm warm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. May the Lord do you good as you are here today. I encourage you to share this message. Share it with someone that you love. Hallelujah. It is day number one of our seven days of fasting. No added sugar, no fried foods. No added sugar, no fried food. Amen. Yeah, no added sugar, no fried food. May the Lord do you good as you join us. Glory to God. You will break your fast on your own today. Amen. Somebody go ahead and share this message. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is well, mighty God. It is well. Somebody bless the Lord. Jesus. Good morning, Florida. Boynton Beach. Welcome. I encourage you to share as you join. It is well. Amen. Sister Saskia, welcome. Good morning. Jesus. The Bible make it clear. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know who this is for, but they told you that you couldn't have it. They told you that you will never get it. The Lord said, it will be yours. Amen. The Lord said, it will be yours. Let us pray. Let us come in agreement and bless God. They told you that no matter what you do, you will never get to that point in life. They told you that no matter who you meet, you'll never make it. 
But I hear the Lord said I should tell you this. It will be yours. Amen. Glory to God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness and your mercies. Lord, you said you take pleasure in our prosperity. You said you will never leave us nor forsake us. You remind us that our enemies will never laugh at us. So this morning, oh God, we want to thank you. We want to bless you. We are in our right mind. You wake us up this morning. We didn't need any help to get out of bed. And Lord God, we just want to give you all the honor and all the praise. You deserve it. Jesus. You deserve it. My God. We are here to bless your name. We are here to shabak you. We are here to magnify you. We are here to lift your name on high. We are here to exalt it. Oh God, have your way. Let your will be done. Let your divine will be done for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray even now, O oh God, I cover this broadcast. Let it reach souls, O oh God. Souls across the nation that are thirsty. Let your will be done with this broadcast today. As your people begin to share it. We decree and we declare it is well. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I cover myself even now, O oh God, in your blood. I cover myself even now in your blood. Have your way, Holy Spirit. We welcome you in our midst. Holy Spirit, come and take over. Take charge. It's day one of our fasting. And we bless your holy name. As you lead us and guide us into the path that you want us to follow. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome and good morning to all. I encourage you to share as you join. Kingston, Jamaica, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes. Oh, yeah. I am so sorry. It is day two of the fasting. Usually, we start during the week. Yesterday was day one. And Sunday. And today is day two. God bless you, Sister Michelle. Oh, Lord. You caught it. Yeah. Day two of our seven days of fasting. No fried foods. No added sugar to your food. So, anything that you have that is sweet... And it was sugar they add to it to make it sweet. Set that aside until the 22nd. Our fasting runs until the 21st. So I encourage you to be in the spirit. I pray that the Lord will do something new for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Glory to God. I'm just thankful to be here this morning. It's a, it's a blessing, it's a privilege, and it's an honor. You need to see how cold it is outside. So for us to be here, especially for those who are living in cold temperature, God bless you. This morning, I was looking at Deuteronomy chapter 20. We, we go over it yesterday. God is telling us, don't be afraid. He will fight for you. So it doesn't matter what your physical eyes have seen. Don't let it fool you. Focus on the things that are above and not the things that are on the ground. It's time for us to shift our focus from down to heaven. It is time for us to shift our focus. Many reasons why some people don't get any breakthrough. It's because their focus is on earthly things. Hallelujah. It's 28 degrees outside. If you pour some water on the ground, it's going to freeze right away. But I'm here to let you know, we can't allow the weather to, di to dictate to us. Share the broadcast. We are on time. You will break 
on your own. Amen. Isaiah reminds us to set our face like a flint. Many of you have been, people have been taking advantage of you far too long. It's time for you to get serious. It's time for you to stop slacking up. It's time for you to be vigilant. And you, you're asking God to give you a breakthrough, but your breakthrough is already here. You are so busy looking at things to come. And you can't see what, what's already here. It's time for you to shift your focus. God has already blessed you. But you are so caught up with so much things around you, you can't see it. So I encourage you to shift your focus. You are away. You're asking God to give you this and you're asking God to give you that. But did you take the time to acknowledge what is already with you? My God. Set your face like a flint. Focus on what is above. God is speaking here today. He said, don't worry. Don't worry. I already bless you. It cannot be reversed. Sister Michelle, God said he already bless you. He received commandment to bless and he already blessed and it cannot be reversed. So it's time for you to shift your focus. My God. It is time for you to shift your focus. Sister Keisha Ellis. God said you already got it. You already received your prophecy. Pay attention. Pay attention. God said... It's time for you to do what he told you to. Jesus. Oh, somebody bless God this morning. I encourage you to share this word. Share this message, mighty God. Sister Nancy, I hear the Lord said soon your eyes will be open. I hear the Lord said soon your eyes will be open. There are some things that are troubling your mind. And you're wondering if you made an error. Oh, the Lord said I should tell you this. Soon your eyes will be open. Soon your eyes will be open. My God. Glory to God. You're saying it's true. I know it's true. The things that you have gone through and the things that you constantly go through, it makes you wonder, what did you do to deserve this? But I hear the Lord said soon your eyes will be open. He won't allow anybody to tell you what's going on. He's going to show you. He's going to show you. He's going to speak into your ears audibly. And then you're going to be free. Lord Jesus. Then you're going to be free. Because you have been trapped. You have been trapped. But today we pray and we expose every Judas in your circle. Today we pray and we expose every Jezebel spirit that is in your circle. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sister Nancy, today we pray and we pray that the Judas that is around you will be exposed. We pray that the Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel will be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some of us, we don't want to know the truth because we are living a life of a lie. But today, somebody be in the spirit. Be in the spirit. If you're not in the spirit, you can't get to a certain level. You got to be in the spirit. Jesus. Jesus. You got to be in the Spirit and allow the Spirit of the Lord to overtake you, 
to overshadow you. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit told Mary that the Spirit of the Lord is going to overshadow her and soon she will be pregnant with a child. I don't know who is here that is empty, but the Spirit of the Lord wants to overshadow you, mighty God, to fill you up and take you to the next level. But because you are in your flesh, the thing cannot happen because the Spirit cannot dwell in the flesh. Hallelujah. I don't know who is here that needed to hear this this morning. But the Spirit of the Lord is here. Somebody share this broadcast. Yeah, 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 Katoro. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Jesus, I can sense it. Really sense it. Something's changing. The glory of the Lord is in this place. I can feel it. Jesus! The glory of the Lord is in this place. So Lord, make me your example. Show me a miracle, Jesus. I'll be that miracle. And Lord, make me your example. You see, I hear the Lord said, many of us, we want to hear the prophetic word, but we don't believe. And such is a waste of time. Sister Kerry, Major, I hear the Lord said, I should tell you this. He already gave you a word and you need to be obedient. He has already given you so many different prophetic words. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? God said he already spoke to you regarding your life, your children's life, and your future. Be obedient. Oh, Jesus. Be koshatarabako sataya. Mighty God, somebody go ahead and share this message. Have your way, Holy Spirit. The Lord said, He already spoke to you, Sister Kerry. And He gave you the words from more than one office. You received prophecies. Hallelujah. Sister Kerry, I don't know what you're looking for, but God said he already spoken and he's not going to change his mind. So be obedient. Whatever he told you, run with it. I don't know what the Lord tell you. Even if he used me to give you some, to, to release a word in your life, I don't remember. So whatever the Lord gave you, Set yourself in alignment for it. It will be well with you. He's, God said he's not going to change his mind because he already spoke. Somebody open him out and bless God. Lord, speak to me today. Hear my cry, O God. Hear my barno kosharabi kosataya. According to the word of God, the Bible tells us in the book of Luke that the angel of the Lord visited the priest Zachariah. He was a priest, but he didn't believe. He was struggling with his faith. And God gave him a word concerning his wife. And when he received the word, he didn't believe, so they make him dumb. I'm here to talk to somebody that when you receive prophecy, they don't believe. God is watching you. Seriously watching you. When Zachariah received the message that the angel said, your wife Elizabeth will give you a son. And you are to name him John. You will have great joy and gladness. And many will rejoice at his birth. 
for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He must never touch wine or alcoholic drinks. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before birth. It means that the Holy Spirit, you can be filled with the Holy Spirit before you came out of your mother's womb. God bless everyone different. Today I came to ask this question. What are you looking for from the Lord? Is it healing? Is it deliverance? Some people are bound and they don't understand that this bondage will make them stay in sin. When you are in bondage, you will continue to remain in sin. Zachariah didn't believe even though he was a priest. So he had a problem. He was struggling with his faith. I don't know who is here that is struggling with their faith. You want all kinds of people, all different type of prophetic ministries to be a part of your life, but you refuse to receive yours. What are you looking for? The Lord wants to operate in you, but you are not available because you are in bondage. You are on lockdown. Today, I ask you to open your mouth and pray. Oh God, release me. Because according to the book of Luke chapter 1, Zachariah did not believe when the word of God came. He has been praying until he became an old man. And he was still praying. And he doubted God when God said, yes, the thing is going to happen. He didn't get it because of his lack of faith. Is unbelief. Somebody declare, Lord, forgive my unbelief. Our unbelief can cause us to be single. Our unbelief can cause us to die prematurely. Our unbelief can cause us to remain sick. Our unbelief can cause us to lose friends. People who God placed in our life, we lose them because of our unbelief. Declare, Lord, release me out of bondage. The angel told Zechariah, he said, John will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah. Elijah was able to call fire from heaven. So John had that power in him. We need to be humble. Not because we have access to a few dollars makes us powerful. Power and might come from God. Power and might comes only from God. No man cannot give you power. You can go and pray with a group of people. Because they are believers. Many times that was my desire to go and pray with certain group of people. Just to fellowship with them. There's nothing wrong. But I'm here to let you know. Make sure your intentions are pure. Because this man was also in bondage. He doubted God. He lacked faith. He lacked the things that can make things possible in his life. Even though he was a priest. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're looking for. But make sure you have faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. We are fasting for El Shaddai. And we are fasting for the children of El Shaddai. We are fasting over those covenant seeds. Yes, we are praying over it. I declare that you will receive your prayer requests. God will honor your moko shodo moko sataya. God will honor your prayer request. That is my prayer. If you are not pure, there are some things that you will not receive from God. Even if you are an intercessor. Why? When Jesus was out with his disciples, they said to him, 
We tried to do that and it didn't happen. And what did Jesus said? Some things can only get done through fasting and prayer. So it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter who you be. You have to be in fasting and prayer and keep your hands clean and stay away from sin in order to achieve certain things. You cannot be living in sin and receive certain blessings. Many of you are just maintaining. You're just scratching surface. But once you begin to be serious about God, you can be an oracle of God. All power belongs to God. So we are seeking his higher power. We're not seeking power from the earth. Oh, Jesus. We are not seeking for what's unhurt. My God. Oh, Jesus. The Bible reminds us to set your mind on the things of heaven and not on earth. So we are seeking the higher power. People of God, it's time for you to know the word of God and study it. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3 remind us to set our mind on the things of heaven and not on the things of earth. Our blessing does not come from the earth. It comes from heaven. I will lift mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. Your blessing did not come from earth. We don't need earthly blessings. We need heavenly blessings because it's the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow. I don't know who God is using me to talk to, but I came to let you know it's time for you to understand the blessings of the Lord, how it works. You cannot receive it in your flesh. Declare a thing and it shall be established. Once you're making declarations, it means that you are in the spirit because you are declaring, you are taking some things in the spirit. Somebody open them out and declare, Oh Lord, I take my portion today. I pull my blessings from above, not from beneath. Hallelujah. It is time to take what's rightfully yours and it does not belong on earth. It's coming from heaven. This is why people will give you things and talk about it. We can't be begging and asking people for favor. And then we said it was of God. This is why I beseech you by the mercies of God. To bless the ministry so we can finish building the church. We are asking in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not beggars. The Bible tells us that we will be lenders and not borrowers. We are not going to borrow any money from any financial institution to finish El Shaddai. No! That's not the God we serve. The God we serve is more than enough. And this is why our, 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 our covenant partners, we are continuing further on into the year. Hallelujah. We serve a God who is more than enough. All we need is faith. All we need is our faith. He is a God that's more than enough. With faith, we will have evidence and substance. Faith. Is knowing that it's behind the walls. And you will get your portion. May the Lord bless you here today. As you step forth in faith. With added faith. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I came to talk to somebody here today. It's time for your faith to be lifted. It is time for your faith to be activated. Believe and you shall receive. This is the word from Jesus Christ. He said repent and believe the gospel. Believe. So 
songwriter say whatever my lad thou has caused me to say it is well it is well with my soul it is well with my soul it is well Jesus, it is well with my soul. Hey, by a coach attire. It is well. It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well. Whatever the situation is that's blocking you from being stronger in the faith, today we break it. Any entity that is responsible for your lack of faith. Today we break it. And we cast it out. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any entity. Oh God. Hey, Ababoko Soto. Romans chapter 8 tells us. For I am persuaded. It's day two of our fasting. No added sugar. I encourage you to join us. No fried foods. My God. It will be well with you. It will be well with you. It will be well with you. I am persuaded. Nothing can separate me. Declare it. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. Nothing, neither death, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers. Some people, they start mingling with some people and they they became weak in their faith. And this is why in the book of Galatians, Paul said, who bewitched you? You started out strong in the faith. You had that zeal and now you're weak. You want to fight everybody. Come on. Who bewitched you? What did they do to you? That made you so weak in the flesh. That made you so perfect in your flesh. Somebody must have done something to you. So now you are no longer strong in the faith. You can't even minister to a co-worker. Because you are empty. I don't know who God is using me to talk to. But I want to ask this question. According to the book of Galatians. Who bewitched you? Mighty God, who bewitch you? What did they do to you? Who put witchcraft on you so you can be weak like this? Some people are weak in the faith. When you knew them years ago, they were spitting fire. The presence of the Lord was upon them. But now they are weak. And Paul is asking this question. Who bewitched you? What happened? Where did you go? Who is responsible for what is happening to you? You are weak in the faith. You became so fleshy, you are perfect in your flesh. Who did this thing to you? It is possible. It's time for you to get your zeal back. It's time for you to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. It is the Word of God. It's time for you to be lifted up. My God. It is time for you to be lifted up. Fill my cup, Lord. Jesus, I lift it up now. Somebody sing with me. Come and quench the thirsting of my soul. Jesus, bread of heaven. Day. Feed me till I want no more. Hey, Ababa Kosata, fill my cup, fill it up and make me all. Jesus, fill my cup, Lord. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. I lift it up now. Hey, Jesus, come and quench the thirsting of my soul. Jesus, bread of heaven. Feed us till we want no more. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. 
Somebody bless the Baroko Soto Rabaya Kashataya. It's time for you to be free. It's time for you to be set free. Too long in bondage. Too long. Too long in bondage. Too long. It's time for you to be free. Too long in bondage. It's time for you to be free. Too long in bondage. It's time for you to be free. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Too long. Too long in bondage. People of God, I encourage you. We are not eating any fried food for the next five days. And we are not taking any added sugar. Please. Ease off of that sweet. And let us be obedient during this time. If you're on this fasting, I encourage you. I beseech you by the mercies of God to be obedient. Stay off that fry food. Don't fry anything. Don't buy that fry stuff. Don't buy that sweet stuff. Listen to me. God wants to do a new thing in you, in your health. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Mako sata. Rababako shekataya. Endoloboko soto. Eya rabaya kesata. It's a new year. Can't keep doing the same thing that you were doing 2022. It is a new year. Fresh anointing. I declare fresh anointing. I hear the Lord said fresh anointing. Fresh anointing for those of you that are faithfully on this fasting. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, fresh anointing, fresh oil. Many of you will begin to start prophesy. Mighty God, fresh anointing. Jesus. Mighty God. Fresh anointing, fresh oil. I declare fresh oil, fresh anointing in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Fresh anointing. Fresh oil. My God. Remember, God is here and he is faithful. The word of God never lies. Paul said, who bewitch you? That you were so strong in the spirit, so strong in the faith, and now you have become perfect in your flesh. It's time to change, mighty God. It's time to get back to that place where God can be glorified in your life. Jesus, God wants glory from our life. It's time for God to get the glory. All the glory and all the praise belong to him. We give you the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship and I bless your holy name because you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship and I bless your holy name, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you, for you are great. Jesus, it is well. My God. People of God, listen, you're going to break today on your own. I just want you to know, I'll do my best to come back later. I encourage you to stay pure and to live your faith. Stay pure and live your faith. God is faithful. Faithful is he who call us. Faithful is he that called us. It will be well with you. Remember, it's our fasting. It is day two, and he is faithful. My time is up. I have to go stay blessed and be blessed of the Lord. Run with it. Stay faithful to God. 
it will be well with you. I will get back to you later on, but I encourage you if it touches your heart to be a blessing to the ministry. You can you can sow a seed into the fasting for yourself and your children. If you want to be a blessing to the ministry, the number is 860-634-8557. You can use PayPal, Zelle, or Cash App to be a blessing. I came to let you know it will be well with you. It will be well with you. May the Lord bless each and every hand that is stretched forth to be a blessing in this time. It will be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. It will be well with you. God bless you all. Be a blessing. Tell somebody today how Jesus loves them. Amen. Faith without works is dead. God bless